Boss, the GT, and the Shelby, all getting a refresh as we're here looking at the 2013 models. And you don't need a scorecard to spot them. Luckily, Ford gave you a new face on all these guys. They all get kind of a Shelby-like mouth now in the front and a piano black strip between the taillights in the back. And those taillights are also got some LED technology in them as well. But what happens under the hood of the GT is the most interesting story. This car, which already had a pretty roarty V8, now gets up to 420 horsepower. It's got a different transmission as well. That six-speed automatic, to go with the performance of that engine, now goes into a full manual mode. You drop it into a particular gear, and it stays there all the way up to the red line and the fuel cutoff. So if you want to play manual in your automatic, you can do it. Now, inside all these Mustangs, they've got a revised uh, about four-inch size LCD between the gauges. And among the functions there is something called track apps. You can monitor your acceleration, your braking, and your lateral acceleration. In other words, you can see exactly how badly you're scaring yourself. Oh, and check this out. You can equip these cars now, and I'm not kidding, with what they call the pony projector. I don't see it on this one, but apparently it's a walk-up light when you burp the keys that's a gutter or puddle light, but it shows a pony logo in the light pattern, kind of like the bat signal. I don't make this up. Now, among the hot rod Mustangs, I've always preferred the Boss over the Shelby. This is more of a driver's car, to my feeling. But the thing that was missing was no possibility whatsoever of getting Ford Sync in this car. That made no sense. The Fiesta has Sync. Well, now that gets fixed for 2013, and this guy will have it too. And I've saved the best, well, at least the most, for last. The Shelby goes to 650 horse for 2013, 600 foot-pounds of torque. What will you do with that? Ford says that 5.8 liter supercharged V8 is now the most powerful production V8 in any car line in America. All I say is you're going to need parachutes because you might leave orbit and come back to Earth if you're lucky.